my name's Amanda and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my February and March favourites with you all. Now it's been quite a while since I last did a favourites video because life has just been really hectic and crazy and yeah I just haven't really found the time to sit down and sort of make one, do one, chat about one, I don't know. So because I've sort of combined two months together, there's quite a few things to get through. So I'm predicting that this is going to be quite a long chatty type video. So I hope you don't mind. And I hope you enjoy just taking a bit of a break out of your life to see the things that I've been loving over the last couple of months. So the first few things I'm going to share with you are some albums that I've been loving over the last couple of months and there are three that I'm going to share with you. The first one is a beautiful jazz album that I've only really started listening to over the last couple of weeks and you all know how much I love jazz. This one is slow and bluesy and just wonderful. It's the kind of jazz that I love. And that album is this one by John Coltrane and it's titled Coltrane for Lovers. So all of these songs on there are really romantic and lovely and bluesy and jazzy and just so so lovely and just sort of capture everything that I love about jazz music. I've found that it's like the perfect album to put on in the background when I'm sewing or when I'm studying or doing any sort of writing. It's just such a lovely sort of background kind of hum and just yeah just makes the mood just perfect for me. The next album is slightly different to the last one that I've just shared. It's sort of like on the opposite scale to jazz. This one's sort of like alternate type uh, rock punk oh I don't really know how to describe them uh, but it's by a band called Tonight Alive and it's their new album called Limitless. Now this kind of album really reminds me of the kind of stuff that I loved listening to when I was a teenager and obviously still do love listening to. I wouldn't really classify it as like emo alternative but it's like a rock alternative. I just really love this type of music with a female lead singer. I just think it's very empowering. And that's really my inner feminist coming out because I went to an all-girls school and was taught that girls can do anything. Well, sorry, women can do anything. So this is the kind of music that I love listening to when I'm driving. Also when I'm sewing. Pretty much any time, really. Um... I definitely think that this kind of music is targeted towards the younger generation. But if you're a part of the older generation and like this kind of music then that's cool. I think that's great. And the last album that I've been loving over the last couple of months is this one by Crowded House. It is called The Very Very Best of Crowded House so it's full of all of their very very best songs. I absolutely love Crowded House. They are sort of like a New Zealand Australian band. They're a really huge well-known band down here in Australia and New Zealand and I think also in other places in the world but I think mainly in Australia. Crowded House was actually my first ever concert that I went to and I just absolutely love it. I found myself listening to this album at a time where I was feeling really quite stressed about things happening in my life last month and this album always just seems to just sort of put me back into the right headspace, bring me back to a place where I need to tell myself that everything's fine, you're overreacting, you're overthinking, you know, don't stress, life shouldn't be this stressful and everything's fine. So that's why I've really been enjoying listening to that album and always will to be honest. So if you yourself are looking out for some new music, maybe have a look at some of those albums, I would definitely recommend Crowded House because they're just awesome. They're a little bit weird and funky but I love that. My next favourite up is a sewing favourite and it's one that I've been loving doing since January and it is the Sugar Club Block by Amy Gibson who writes the blog Sittery Dickery Doc and the Sugar Block Club is essentially a sort of quilt along series that Amy's doing on her blog and she brings out a new block every month and I've just really been loving looking forward to what she brings out each month and then sort of finding the fabrics that I wanted to use for the block and then sew it and then share it with you and I just find that her designs are just so modern and fresh and new and I just really love everything that she does to be honest. So these are the blocks that I've been doing. This one was the March block and it was the orange pill applique and I just really loved this one. This one was from February, this one was playing off the log cabin design and then from January it was this one which was snowball. I know the middle is a snowball and then there's half square triangles. I can't quite remember what the block was sort of designed on. I got a new email yesterday informing us about the new April block and it is all about the Ohio star block which I 
absolutely love and I have actually done a tutorial on if you want to go check that out but I'm really looking forward to making that block there are actually a few new techniques in making that block that I've never done before and I've always wanted to know how to do so I'm really looking forward to sort of yeah exploring that and seeing how easy they are to do I don't know whether you noticed but with this series all of the blocks I'm making, I'm using up all of my solids. For each block, I've got a background color of the cream, and then I'm just sort of filling in all the different bits with all of the different types of colors that I think go well. And I'm also really just loving the challenge of picking out each solid color and pairing them together and then putting them into each of these blocks to make them into something that I'm really loving and enjoying. So if you yourself want to get involved in the Sugar Block Club, it's not too late. There is a link down in the description box below to her blog where you can find all of the details about the Sugar Block Club for this year. So moving on, I wanted to share with you a few of my favorite beauty things that I've been loving and a few of them are from the body shop and just one of them is not. So the first thing up that isn't from the body shop is this body lotion by a company called Thank You. Now this company called Thank You is an Australian social enterprise that collects all of the funds that they receive from their products and put it all into funding life-changing projects. I think one of the products that they sold was water and all of the funds that they got back from that went to helping people in third world countries to have clean drinking water. Now, I think I got this right but I think all of the funds that they get from all of their body care stuff goes into helping people have proper hygiene and hygiene products and stuff like that which I think is a really great thing to do and I think it's really important to help people in that kind of way. But coming back to this I was looking for a new body lotion and I saw that this was on sale in my local supermarket and I thought yeah let's try it let's give it a go and this one is botanical French vanilla and coconut and it's like one of those natural type products that doesn't have all of the nasty sort of chemicals and fragrances and all that sort of shiz but I found that this is a really lovely body lotion to use it's not sticky it's not greasy it's not watery it's just I don't know it's just like the perfect type of texture for me it smells really really lovely very vanilla-y and coconutty, of course. To be honest, it does remind me of something and I can't quite put my finger on what it reminds me of, but it just it smells lovely. And I just think for what it was, the price that I paid was totally worth it and I think I'll be getting more in the future when I run out. So moving on to a few of the favourites from the body shop and the first one up is this shower gel. It is in the scent or fragrance called Moringa and I actually bought a soap with this scent and I absolutely loved it so I went back and got the shower gel and it's really really lovely it's a very fresh very fragrant smell and it reminds me so much of honey like really intense whiff of honey and it's just really I think it, it smells really luxurious and very um spa like and springy I just I really really love it and of course with anything that you get from the body shop you really don't need a lot when you're using it just a little bit goes a long way and I love that because it will last for a long time so this one's really really lovely really lovely so the next thing or next two things that I bought were a nice little treat to myself what I'd pay for them is more than I would for what they are but over the last couple of months I reached a few goals and just reached a few things in my personal life which I was very happy and proud of myself about so I just thought yeah go treat yourself and get something new and see how it goes and it is the shampoo and conditioner from the body shop obviously and this one is called rainforest shine it is for normal to dry hair and it has in it something it has ingredients in it that I can't really pronounce but we'll give it a go it is um, Prakatsi no I'm not gonna even attempt it I've been using these over the last couple of weeks and I've just found a total difference in the way that my hair feels and looks and falls and uh, I'm really really loving that because I hate my hair at the moment but that's a whole other story. It's just made my hair really soft and sort of luxurious and it's just sort of brought out my natural curls and the natural wave that I have in my hair that sometimes I do curse that I have but this has just really made it really nice I found that the conditioner is really good I do have to use more of the conditioner than the shampoo as you usually do in the tea situations but it doesn't leave my hair all knotty and horrible 
and that is a huge plus because I have very thick and very easily knotted hair. So I think if you want to treat yourself to something new and try something different to all of the other sort of boring supermarket type of brands then try this out and see what you think. I really love it. So moving on to a stationery favourite from the last couple of months and it's this gorgeous little adhesive note set from Kiki K and it comes like this and then you fold it out and it has all of these different types of sticky notes that you can write your whole life on I guess. Um, that's what I do. And I particularly have been loving this big one here uh, with uh, sort of these sort of lines on it and I write everything down that I need to sort of remember both in my life in my sewing room, in my life in real life, um, in my study life. Everything that I need I write down a note and stick it where I will find it. I also use these little tabs here in my YouTube notebook for when I need to find the specific page that I'm working on and I also use a lot of the little ones for writing down quick notes for when I go to the shop because I always have to have a list on me otherwise I forget what I need and that's never a good thing. But everything about it I love. I love the colours. I love the little watercolored sort of design. I love the little quotes on it. This one here says be brave, be bold. Be brave is my personal motto and I just really really love it and it just folds up and I just stick it on my desk and it's just so clutter free and awesome and wonderful. Love it. The next thing up is another thing that I treated myself to for achieving all of my goals that I've been wanting to and I also bought this to watch over the Easter break even though I didn't really watch very much over the Easter break because I was doing lots of other things like eating chocolate and my own weight in hot frost buns. But what I'm talking about is this box set of season 1 to 5 of Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I have watched up to season 4 and haven't seen season 5 and with season 6 coming out I thought I need to get the box set, rewatch it and get up to speed before it comes out at the end of April. That's season 6 that is. So I'm currently almost at the end of season two and still loving it even though it's the second time I've seen it. The thing that I love about Game of Thrones is the storyline. It is just so complex and everything sort of just weaves and ducks and just it just goes everywhere. Nothing is held back in this storyline and yeah I just I, I just really enjoy the story. I think if you're not a fan of swearing and intense sex scenes Possibly not really the best thing for you to watch and it's very violent too so if you're not into lots of gory blood and horrible violence then it's possibly not really the best thing for you but yeah if you can look past all of that and just see it for the storyline and for the characters then I think you'll really really enjoy it. And the last thing that I have to share with you was a part of something very very special that I received in February from a viewer slash friend. You will know who you are as soon as I hold this up but it's something that I've been loving using and I've been taking it to classes and just been just loving it because it's just wonderful. Sorry I said that very violently didn't I? But it's this lovely Buzz Light You mug that I received from you. So this was a part of a beautiful little gift that I received from this lovely, lovely person and everything that was in that lovely parcel was just so tailored to me and this especially just, I was just like blown away by. It is like a little travel mug um, and it's got Buzz Lightyear on it because Buzz Lightyear is my favourite and it has a little lid that you can take off. Uh, and then put your tea in and then take it with you. And as I mentioned, I've been taking this to class and just casually sipping at it while I'm arranging my flowers and whatnot. And yeah, I just, I just really, really love it. It's just the thought behind it and just what it sort of represents. That gift came to me at a very hard time that I was going through in February. Just that beautiful gesture that uh, she did, just it truly made me so happy and just you will never understand just yeah how much it meant to receive that but yeah I think that's a lovely happy favorite to end on yeah so those are all of my favorites from March from when 
So those are all of my favourites from February and March to share with you. If you would like to, please comment down below with some of the things that you've been favouriting over the last couple of weeks, couple of months, doesn't matter. Anything that you're loving and favouriting in your life, I would love to know. And so until next time, friends, thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you another time very, very soon. Bye!